Hello guys, I'm Skateband222 with a wonderful game for Stream 2, Animorph Shadow Reality for the yeah. PlayStation 1. <laughs> a really, really good game. Uh, how's the crowd doing? Got All right, got a bit of a crowd. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> so we got four choices here. Uh, we're going to pick Rachel. Uh, she's quite fast, very athletic, and has quite some interesting story, as we'll find out later. Uh, the others are kind of weird. They, they have like weird jumps. They're kind of, eh. They have, some of them have better load times, but they suck. Rachel's the best. Uh, so are you ready on time? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you'll soon notice right away, this is basically a Crash Bandicoot clone. <laughs> because Animorphs games are just like, you know what, let's just copy the most popular franchise at the time when we release a game. So the Game Boy Color game was a Pokemon game. This is like a Crash Bandicoot clone with combat, where you turn into your Animorph. In this case, Rachel's a derpy bear, as we'll find out <laughs> before the course of the run. Um, so I'm actually going to try to focus a little bit here. I'm going to try to go for an eight second time save that was originally thought to be TAS only. Oh, okay. yeah, nice. let's go. Hey. We have a chance here. It's not, we're not cycle, fully out of the woods yet. Yeah. We still have to make it. Oh, oh we didn't oh, make it. Oh, <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, well, at least I got the first part of it, which yeah, is yeah. the cool zigzaggy jump pad thing. That always looks cool when it <laughs> happens. Right. I, I didn't introduce these guys. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys can introduce yourselves. You guys are my buddies, I guess, who totally have never played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, my name is Kisterius. I have never played this game before. I, uh, I'm Shiri Bear. I uh, love to watch this game, but I will never <laughs> play it myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so there I'm trying to do a late jump. I just, I guess, jumped a little too late or too early or something. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show off a really funny glitch that was actually kind of discovered... Re well, it was discovered a long time ago, but we never really found a use for it. So shout-outs to Fistastic, who has found almost everything in this game. Right, here we go. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, there. Yeah. And we skip nice. a fight. <laughs> nice. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're alive. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> and so we just skipped the fight and a whole bunch of stuff. And now we're gonna do a crazy jump. Okay, well it wasn't nice. that crazy, but we we got there. <laughs> so that's one one. Uh, so there's eight levels in the game. Uh, they're kind of broken into subsections, and then you'll see some interesting other kind of levels, which. We'll talk about when we get there. Uh, so as you can see in these fights, uh, for the first level, there's really not that many like difficult enemies. You just kind of mash square as the bear and just wreck them. <laughs> uh, but you'll see, like, since I skipped a fight there, I'm going to be skipping quite a bit of fights throughout the game because they didn't think about you know just walking around or other weird things you can do, like the pause glitch. Going out of bounds sometimes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Uh, this part is just kind of... <laughs> There's really not that much that goes on in this level. Like, a lot of levels are actually based on cycles. Um, yeah, exactly. Hype, yeah, they thought, they thought those jumps were sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfectly well-timed jumps right there. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll talk about the pause glitch a little bit on how that worked. Basically, if there's a moving platform and then you jump and then pause the game, like, right after, the game just keeps you moving for some reason. Uh, so you can use that to just skip a few things. I'm actually going to try for another one, too. Uh, later on. As you can see here, there's a lot of like waiting around for cycles and stuff like that, which is not like super interesting, but yeah, that's why like you can go faster in a lot of parts, but you're really not going to save time because you have to wait for cycles anyway. Yeah. Alright. Get out of town. Yeah, the quotes, by the way. <laughs> the quotes insane. are uh, top tier. Yeah, they're insane. <laughs> oh, we got one skip there. Oh, we got two. Nice. That was really good. Nice. Uh, th those are actually like pretty tough. Um, okay. Alright, now I'm going to do another fight skip. Hopefully I get it. Here we go. Yeah. She's ready. <laughs> She's ready. Oh, looks like we got it. There nice, we go. We skipped nice. another fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was 1-2. Now we're entering 1-3, and now we're in the volcano. Nuts. Yes, it is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need to Perfectly commentate. Perfectly timed uh, quotes. <laughs> That's great. Commentary is great. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, she, she can just do the commentary for us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we're just kind of avoiding these fireballs. Uh, at one point, you can just start taking damage, but I'm somehow avoiding them anyway. Doesn't matter, there's a cycle at the end we have to catch anyway, so you can take this however fast you want. Uh, fortunately, so this fight you actually can skip 
in the task, but it's impossible. <laughs> RTA, I mean, you could try. People, I've tried. Fizz has tried. You could get around it, but it's no. <laughs> no sweat, yeah. Uh, but you're in a volcano. How? Um, <laughs> magic. Um, so yeah, more more of these platforms to wait around on. Um, what other tech? We, there's not that much tech going on <laughs> We've here. Run out of tech. At least not yet. Yeah, no, no, the rest of the run is boring now. You, you guys can leave. No. <laughs> um, so I guess I could talk about the things we're picking up. Uh, that white ball is an extra life. Mm -hmm. uh, all those Animorphs coins are just coins that if you get a hundred, you get extra life. Just like you know Mario Crash, all that. Uh, we got the poker chips of doom here. All right, easy. And now we got our big enemy here, the Hork Bajir. Uh, which we're actually going to use a feature, or a feature, I guess a glitch called Task Combat. <laughs> um, so basically how it works is when you normally fight an enemy, you have to attack and then kind of wait for them to like recover before you can attack again. So they have like a, an iframe window. But if you like attack again and then walk away and then go back, it like cancels it. So you, it saves a lot of time over the course of the run. Alright, right, so here's another fight skip. Okay, and now I'm going to try to do a pretty risky strat here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I got uh, I got blocked there. If I didn't get blocked there, I would have went for it. You can skip a uh, cycle here. It's pretty tight. About like I don't know, six frame window. It's not that tight, but uh, you have to like keep on going right the whole time. So as soon as you start getting stuck, just abort. <laughs> well, moonwalking bear. Oh yeah, <laughs> one of the oh, best parts of the game. Yeah. Moonwalking bear. <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs> You don't even have to fight these for some reason. Usually when you turn into a bear, you have to defeat all the enemies, but for some reason on this bridge, they're just kind of there, and you just kind of They're just amazed walking. by your moonwalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. You can pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, so, like, one of the main reasons we use Rachel is because of the bear, in fact. Uh, you know, not because the bear is just awesome and stuff and is derpy with its attacks and stuff, but it actually has some uses later on that we'll see, uh, especially using the target lock that I just used there to do the moonwalk. Uh, we'll see that in, like, the second to last stage. And here we got more uh, platforms. Uh, these platforms can be pretty janky if you've played it casually. Uh, it's pretty simple when you, you know, just walk on them. Uh, sometimes these platforms are a little glitchy though, where like it'll start pushing you to the right when you really don't want to. But uh, I got lucky there, so we're good. And now to end off this first level, we got another Hork Bajir. And which is interesting about these Hork Bajirs is that they actually have different um, like recovery speeds. So this one's a slow Bajir, we call it. And the other one's a fast Bajir, so you actually have to wait a bit longer between attacks. There we go. There's a checkpoint there, but uh... Yeah, this is a marathon, and we're totally not going to die in a very easy part here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so words. dead. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, we get to see the Horde Bajir again if I die. Insane! Uh, so here we have a spinning tunnel of doom with holes. Uh, it's pretty scary. Uh, it's always the same holes, though. They're not really random. As long as you get here at the same... Okay, yes, it's insane. We get it. <laughs> um, it they're always in the same place as long as you get there at the same time. So it's not that... Yes, I'm being careful. <laughs> Uh, Rachel. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear a lot of those quotes about the game. Marathon. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So that's the entrance. And now we're going to see the, the different kind of levels of this game. Uh, let's say they're quote-unquote auto-scrollers, but not really. And, and that's the best music in the game as yeah, well. How about the music, though? <laughs> Got some nice ska, courtesy of Goldfinger of Tony Hawk Pro Skater fame. <laughs> <laughs> the the vented scar in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Adam Wars just knew. Like, they knew it was popular and they just had to capitalize on that. Too bad the game was jank, but, you know, <laughs> they tried. <laughs> uh, so, as you can see here, um, ev between every level, you have this kind of, like, I guess, little break, little fun mini game kind of thing. Uh, game Boy Color actually had something similar, too, like, with the. Uh, the missions you had like these random like they had a dolphin one too in the Game Boy Color version, um, and yeah, you you just have to like in the Game Boy Color you'd have to like collect pearls to progress or whatever. Here you don't have to do anything really. You just got to get to the end. Don't die. Uh, this is like the least threatening level though. Like the only things that could really hit you are like the clams, which do a lot of damage. They actually do four damage. So if I get hit by one now, I'm dead. Uh, these fans as well. The fish are just scenery, <laughs> really yeah. nothing special. And the reason uh, Skate is keeping down is to uh, avoid some electric sea eel that is coming from the uh, from the yeah, yeah, the yeah sides yeah. of the caves. Right, yeah, exactly. Oh, the yeah, wall yeah. wall snakes or whatever. You'll see them again. <laughs>
<laughs> um, but yeah, just most of this, like these levels are like they, they actually can be optimized. Like they're not really auto scores. Think of them more like racing levels, I guess. Um, so like cutting the corners and like taking your boost straight and stuff are actually kind of important. Uh, they're not as important in this level because there's really not that much to like turn around on. But uh, it, it does add up, I guess. Like when I initially ran this, like I just didn't care to practice these, but then I actually like sat down with them a few nights, and it's like, oh, okay, wait, I just saved like you know, three to five seconds on these because of that. All right, so that's the C. Nice little peaceful ska session. All right, now we're back to real platforming. All right, so here's the forest. We're going to do some barrier skips. See, nice. this, this game had barrier skip before barrier skip was cool. <laughs> or possible, even. <laughs> and now we got another uh, Horpajir. Just do the little attack away, attack away. All right, let's do some derpy spins after this. Let's not forget. Okay, yeah. All right, hold on. <laughs> 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 that model's great. More barrier skipping. Nice, got that too. All right, so this level actually has a, a, a decent bit more tech than the first one. I mean, the first one has fight skips and like that you know crazy cycle that you can catch in the first level. Uh, this has some uh, interesting uh, movement and stuff that you can do, and some of it was actually discovered via a random Chinese task that we found on YouTube. Uh, you know, Fizz and I were just kind of like watching random like stuff on YouTube we could find of this game, and then we see that one video called Animorphs a Task Done in 40 Minutes when it's actually a 35 minute task <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Uh, so that movement right there is actually found in the Chinese task. So like, there's oh, little nice. optimizations here and there that was in that. And there's going to be another one here that was also discovered in the Chinese task. Hopefully I could show it off. I have to not take a hit to this guy or else we can't do it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go away. The jukes. <laughs> oh, there okay, we, go. we got it. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the Watt guy. Every time you hit him, he says Watt. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Or almost every time. So this is the this is the Chinese diagonal movement. We didn't know if it was like really possible to do that, but we saw it. That's like, wait, you could do that? What? <laughs> as long as you're full health, you can take two hits and walk on water, I guess, or jump on water, because that makes sense. Um, so now we're gonna go. Yeah, get out of town. I mean, we're not even in a town, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we already got out of town. <laughs> we're in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we have the uh, Best Buy employees. If you're familiar with Best Buy, the guys in blue with the khaki pants. Or alternatively, they kind of look like blue C-3PO in khaki pants, however you <laughs> see it. All right. Those guys are actually like super brutal. Like they, 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 I don't know. They they hit really hard, and like their recovery frames are like pretty insane. So you kind of have to like wait a long time. What's up here? I don't know what is up here. <laughs> <laughs> no a cool level is up here. Sometimes she says like, I feel like a lab rat. <laughs> she does that too. I was hoping she'd say that. And there was like an earlier quote like near the dam section, like she would just say like, these are some pesky beavers. <laughs> <laughs> like just silly quotes like that. Okay, so here we have 3-3, three, three, uh, which is interesting. It's got uh, some really cool skips and a uh, very bad song, I'd say. It's just, it feels like someone like forgot to make a song for this level and they hired a programmer to just like randomly generate like synth notes or something. Like <laughs> it just feels so out of place. And it's so hectic, like it's just like, ah. <laughs> Got some conveyor belt action there. And a lot of signs saying where to go, like go this way, go this way. And sometimes they actually like kind of troll you. Like they, they lead to lead you to like a, a sign that says like a like a, a skull with like show like you'll die here if you go this way or whatever. <laughs> nice. It's kinda silly. Hey Tobias, lend me your wings. <laughs> there she always says that. Tobias, lend me your wings. And uh, Tobias is not even in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do another pause glitch here. See if I get it. Oh, we got it. Nice. nice. <laughs> Literally practiced yeah. like half an hour. Yeah. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what other stupid things could I do in the run? Let's let's throw that in as well. So that's the, that's the last pause glitch you'll see. But now you'll see a, a, a probably the hardest trick in the game. Hopefully, I get it first try. Oh, oh that was nice. uh, there's a lot going on there. I'm gonna try to explain it after I do it because it's, it's kind of like really hard to do this. Okay, nice. second try. Second nice. try, still <laughs> pretty good. I'll take it. That's still faster than going the the op like the the intended way. Mm -hmm. It's like 24, 25 seconds faster. So, uh, but basically, what's going on there is there's a lot of death planes around that area, so you have to move in a very specific way to get down there without dying. Uh, so you can't just hold right, or else you'll just uh, hit the death plane that's on the right, and you can't. 
like wait too long or else we'll just fall and miss the platform. So it requires a very specific set of movements. So I'm, I'm glad I got that second try. It's good enough. All right, so that was the forest. And now on to probably the best the racing section, <laughs> Swamp. It's got the banger of the century in it. Get ready. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just this, like, I don't know. Oh, whoops, the frog. Whoa. No. <laughs> there goes my 46. He's distracted by the banger. <laughs> yeah, the banger's too good. Uh, um, yeah, so you'll see, like, there's a timer in the bottom right uh, that counts down from, like, three minutes. So uh, Fizz and I actually went, like, pretty ham on this level to try to get it, like, really fast because this is, like, one of the levels that actually kind of matters what you do to like save time so initially when i was playing this game i didn't really care and i had like i don't know 42 41 like just really bad and fizz would always get 45s just like what the heck how do you do this and i just sat down with this an entire night listening to this banger <laughs> <laughs> and i finally figured it out and then i actually got 46 a couple times which is pretty cool uh but now 46 is already dead because i got hit by a frog <laughs> but what can you do that boy too strong uh, okay, so here you want to be careful. If you hold up here, you would just die because you end up like clipping out of bounds or something. That's happened to me a few times accidentally, so now I'm just I played a lot more safe there. So far from the ground. <laughs> the lyrics, man. I wish we had official lyrics. They're not in the manual. They're not posted anywhere online, and it's kind of hard to hear, like especially in the verses. Like the chorus, you can kind of hear what he's saying, but uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Wartab donated $10. Really enjoying this run. This game is a symbol of my entire childhood. Good <laughs> luck, Skateman. <laughs> Thank you, Wartab. Oh, <laughs> oh Wartab. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I haven't played this as, as a child. Uh, I only discovered it recently. But I did play Crash Bandicoot, like an actual Crash Bandicoot game. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, this is looking pretty sketch. I'd be happy enough with a 44 at this point. Which is good enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, it loops. We actually get to hear a full loop in this level. <laughs> in some of the levels, you actually can't. Like the Ska level, there's actually a bit more that gets like really awesome, and we don't get to hear it. It's unfortunate. 44. All right. Not great, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Garden time. Oh, 5 1. Okay, so this, this, this first level has got like. A bunch of fight skips. You skip basically everything. So hopefully I get it, because some of them are actually kind of tough. That one looks kind of so, silly, yeah, though. That one is uh, <laughs> easy. <laughs> just, just go right, forehead. Um, now here, this one's a little tricky. It requires a specific set of movements. So hopefully I get it. All right, we got it. Nice. Oh, nice. There's, one, there's one guy over there. We're just casually jumping on the right side, or left side. I don't know my lefts and my rights, clearly. Uh, so we're kind of out of bounds-ish right now, but we'll get back in bounds. You just got to go back in bounds like that. Easy as that. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just do it again. Yeah. All right. I jumped a little bit too late. Yeah. It's all good. Okay, we did it again. Easy peasy. <laughs> all right, let's not do that now. Um, what I usually like to do is I usually like to count to three here, like three of those, like, I don't know, traps, and then I go right. There, that's better. <laughs> Okay. Now I got the literal lag spike room. Oh, I didn't use a diagonal. What am I doing? No. You <laughs> I missed the diagonal. I like just completely, I don't know. I watched too much Fizz who doesn't do the diagonal. It's his fault. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We get to do the skate skip though. So we skipped that fight and now we're going to skip the slide. That's RNG. Oh, oh my god. That cycle. Okay. Nice. Easy. <laughs> no worries at all. Okay. So that was a, a skip I found. You just you don't have to take the slide. It actually skips quite a bit. Here we got the uh, I don't know Spider-Man alien with big feet. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he has like a Spider-Man logo on the back, and he's oh no. No sweat. No sweat. Okay, that this makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, that's a lot more believable now. Yeah, yeah. All right. 5-2. Um, yeah, there. She basically just explained the entire level. <laughs> oh, damn. That's our commentary. Yeah, like, that's it. That, that, I don't have to say anything else. Um, I guess we could talk about the lore a little bit here if you want. Can we? Uh, okay, maybe not the full lore, but uh, the manual says that Rachel is a strong-willed 
a gymnast slash model, and it actually says in the manual that her parents are divorced. I, for some that reason, reason, that's a very important detail. So I guess we'll just say that's her, I don't know, motivation to save the world or something. She wants to unleash her anger and sadness to save the world. I don't know. And also these branches are way harder to jump on than you might oh, yeah. look yeah. like. Yeah, so this is kind of, this is the part where like, if you play this casually, there's a very good chance you're going to like start hating the game. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people just game over, lose all their like 15 to 20 lives here. I almost just fell and I fell oh. there. <laughs> Checkpoint is quite good nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoop. okay. Yeah, so here you kind of have to like land kind of like in the middle-ish of the branches. Uh, so like what you see, where am I going? <laughs> what you see here is not actually what it looks like. So you kind of have to like know that beforehand. And then, then it's not too bad with practice. Oh, there's, a, there's another horde bajir. We'll just kind of say hi and bye. I don't know how that one doesn't detect you, yeah. but it just doesn't. And you can fall off the elevator because it's, it's faster and you don't die. <laughs> All right, 5-3. Uh, this is kind of whatever. Uh, there's really not much going on here. Kind of like a nuclear plant of sorts where there, it's blue instead of green. I don't know. Not really too much of a threat here. These levels are like really short for some reason. Like this one and the one after this, there's really not much going on. Another Best Buy employee. Sup, dude? You got any electronics? Okay, well, I guess you don't. <laughs> She really likes saying no sweat. She's saying that more than insane. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now the last level of gardens is another just like hold right level. Oh, yeah, she always says that. Looks like rat central station. Are there any rats? I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say this is also a pretty big banger. Yeah, this is a pretty, uh, yeah, for such a short level, I wish it was in another level. Oh wait, no, it is in another level. It's in the finale as well, so oh, we'll nice. hear that again, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we have our last, uh, I don't know, intermission mini game level. This is the worst one, in my opinion. So the bat returns, just like in the uh, Game Boy Color one. I think the Game Boy Color one was way worse than this, but... Ow. <laughs> um... There's really not that much going on here. Uh, th this is like the, I guess, least like impressive one, I guess. I mean, they have the spider webs. These are really trolly. Uh, th the first ones are not so bad. They have really wide windows to go through. But once you get to the end, there's like a r some serious troll webs and very likely I'm gonna get stuck on them. Yeah, the opening looks bigger than it actually is. So that's... Yeah, exactly. That's why it's so hard. So what do you guys think of the game so far? You're gonna insta buy it now, right? Like, <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh. Well, I tried. <laughs> it's only five dollars. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the music here is also like really not impressive, like compared compared to like the you know the banger of the swamp and the ska music. This is just yeah. kind of like I don't spooky. know, spooky, uh, yeah. whatever music. And the map make the bat makes like stupid noises too, like a re like every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, none of us really like this level too much. All right, uh, the troll webs are coming up now. After a few sets of turns here, what's kind of weird about this level is that the walls are like a lot shorter than they appear. So like you can't really like cut the corners as sharp as you would in the other levels. So you kind of have to like take them super wide. <laughs> you just did it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one's fine. This one can be trolly. All right, it's fine. This is the one. This one right here. Oh, nice. right through. Look at that. Let's go. Wow. All right. We have a chance at getting the 50 here. That would be like good enough, I'd say. I have to say, this music is pretty om ominous for just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's really. As, that's as much pressure as it's applying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got loads of time. Yeah. Right, we're almost done this level, and then we're gonna get to probably the hardest level of the game, the city. That wasn't even close to 50, it was 48. I went <laughs> through the troll web. Man, that was terrible. Okay. City time. Alright. This first level is pretty crazy. There's, there's a lot going on here. Uh, the, the biggest skip found by Fistastic was kind of the thing that really, like, made Sub-30, like, super possible. Like, it was already possible. And then that was found, and then, like... 
<laughs> I said, okay, I guess I have to come back to this game, and uh, I ended up getting a 29-17. All right, let's see if I can get this. So first of all, I have to make this cycle, which I did. Now we're going to do these, like, momentum jumps to go a little bit faster. All right, get this checkpoint good, and now watch this. Nice, we got nice. it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Insane! Insane! <laughs> uh, so this is like a 30 second time save if, if done optimally. Oh, dang. oh man! <laughs> <laughs> well, more like 20 now. <laughs> uh, okay, I just gotta wait for this fan. Go. Okay, that should make it. If that doesn't make it, all right, cool. All right, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so that was found recently. For some reason, there's just no death plane under that specific spot, so you just kind of end up down here. Which is really nice because that fan section is like really annoying. It was really annoying in the original like strat that you'd have to do. So doing it that way is just really nice. Another Horpajir. Task combat is butt. Alright, now we got the molten cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's so excited. <laughs> There's right. so much of it. Kind of messed that up, that's okay. Yeah, put him up. Best Buy employee again. Uh, I need to return my copy of Animal Shadow Reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a plan right after this run. We're done. It's I don't care if Fizz stop. fights another major skip. He can have his world record. <laughs> he probably already has a pre-recorded 28. That, that, that's, that's the conspiracy theory. Is he already has like oh, really? pre-recorded 28. <laughs> and he just wants to keep me coming back to this game. <laughs> it's not going to work this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this is... Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the thing I wanted to show off with the bear. Um, when you target lock something and get hit, you get boosted backwards. So you can use that backward boost to hit a checkpoint and then skip the fight. Alright, gonna be a little careful here. Alright, hopefully I get this cycle. I really want to go for this. Nice. Yes, okay. That's a lot harder than it looks. It's, it's very hard. Yeah. yeah. I was messing it up a ton in practice, but I finally got it here where it mattered. All right, we can go here. And yeah, these are also like Crash Bandicoot blocks, if you're familiar with that. I think it has that in Crash 1. Uh, you could go like behind them and they'll go backwards and they won't squish you. You could just go through them. All right, pretty good city so far. All right, here got the, uh, I think they're called Escorts in the manual. They're like little mini dragon things. Yeah, you can confirm if you'd like. Ow. Escort. Escort, yeah. <laughs> they have some very interesting names. There's like a nah. Nah. Like Chris was saying earlier, like, <laughs> like we, we haven't named this guy yet. You want to name this guy? Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, we get to do another donation. Atiko donated $5. Is this the famous Scatman 2022 <laughs> who is running Animorphs? <laughs> Greetings from PSR House and GL for your run. <laughs> Thanks, Echo. <laughs> Scatman 2022. We got, a, we got a funny story about that, but uh, <laughs> basically, no, I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> <It's> too <laughs> long. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, okay, so here is there anything much to explain? Not really. We're, we're in a volcano again, uh, and they have these flaming Q-tips attacking you. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for that one because I actually want full health here for a, a skip. I'll do. Oh, Shouts to GT Bicycles, sponsored by GT Bicycles. Even I don't the know if they're the still manual. in existence. But <laughs> what did you say? Sorry. Even in the back of the manual, they have oh, yeah, like, they have an yeah, advert in the manual too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So here you have this crane, and as long as you don't, oh, I messed up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, saved it, but I can't make that now. Actually, oh. I might as well just do this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I have to wait anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. I kind of like jumped a little early, so I I knew I was gonna make that, so I just kind of backed up. Uh, I'm thinking about whether I should swag this part or not. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's not faster. Unless you do it like, if you do it like super fast, it, it actually does save like, yeah. I don't know, 40 frames or something. But I think the way I did it, I don't think I saved anything. But it's cool. Just sneak another pause glitch there. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do more pause glitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there's another crazy skip here. I'm probably not gonna go for this one. Um, but what you can do is you can essentially like climb on top of one of these crushers, this one right here, and then you can climb up above here and make that platform. It's it's pretty tough, so I'm just gonna not do that. 
Uh, luckily, our estimate is like extremely high. Uh, it was already high to begin with, and then Fizz found like a bunch of skips. So now it's like way too high. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait a bit here. You can trigger this lever from all the way over here. <laughs> Reasons. All right, now I'm gonna try to make a pretty tough cycle. Um, it requires like you have to jump, like you have to non-stop jump to make this. Hopefully, I don't trigger the fight. That's my biggest worry. Okay, well, I'm probably not gonna make this now. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's fine. Good. Just don't trigger the fight. That's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this no is a problem. Way. We got the we got we're getting GDQ cycled here. So in the GDQ run, we had the same problem. Okay, Ooh. you can still make it. You just gotta yeah, go yeah. fast. All right, we did it. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of risky. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the uh, toilet paper rolls. And here you have these, uh, I don't know, like seesaw platform things. Uh, these are kind of... They were scary to begin with. They are, uh, I guess, a little... They're kind of scary still, but... Uh, ever since I saw someone play this casually and just walk, it's like a lot easier now. <laughs> we used to just kind of like wait until it like, goes high enough so it's safe. Alright, one last fork Bajir. Now we're gonna try to hit this switch as a bear. Nice. nice. <laughs> I love the movement with the paw. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, and that was City. Nice. What's our pace right now? Not bad. Not bad. We can still get a 31. I'd be happy with that. All right, now we got the finale. Let's not choke this. Uh, we're gonna do another uh, cool little swag strat that was found in the Chinese test. Hopefully I can get it. Uh, I absolutely don't have to do this. It doesn't save time at all, but it's just really cool looking. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try to kick flip off this red platform. Yeah, of course. Got skate it. Man would do kick flip <laughs> off the of course, exactly. <laughs> Can't kick flip in real life, but I could surely do it in games. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and now we got the final boss. Easily the hardest part of the entire game. And turn to a bear, and here we go, Visser three. Oh, of course I messed it up in the marathon run. <laughs> no, come on. Hello. Okay, there we go. No, what? <laughs> Dude, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to just chill with him. Okay. He's like a pretty chill guy. All right, close enough. There, so you can just stun lock him by doing this. I knew that was going to happen, too. In the back of my mind, I was like, that's totally going to happen in the run. That's fine. Uh, is this safe? I'm just going to chill here. Oh, yeah, exactly. It, it does go up and yeah. down. Okay, it was safe, but whatever. All right, get ready on time. Once I hit this machine, three, two, one, time. Nice. All right, I'll take a 31. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Here we have Axe. He's our actually our, our buddy, our alien buddy. We got to the machine. We fixed reality because it was shattered by Visser 3, I guess. Hence the title, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like he tried to take over the world by assembling this machine and he shattered reality instead of like taking over the world, so. We got this nice music, this empowering menu music that they're reusing here for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part, to end it all off. Oh, there's Tobias, by the way. He's, he is actually in this game, oh, kind of, I guess. But that was about is we get to hear the banger again. <laughs> to end off the credits. <laughs> oh, yeah. But all right, that's Animal Shadow Reality. I'm pretty happy with that time. I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed this janky E-Crash Bandicoot clone. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, play this game or not. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> Best $5 I've ever spent. Um, yeah, we're going to move on to the next game. Thank you all for watching, guys. See you around.